I'm standing behind one of San Diego's biggest economic generator, the San Diego Convention Center. Why are we talking about the Convention Center, you ask? Because for the last 15 years, the city, whoever's been leading it, the people, whoever, have been trying to expand this Convention Center for the third time in its illustrious career. The problem is, it's not happening for some reason. And here we are losing out on conventions, not so much last year again with COVID and the pandemic and the world coming to an end, but we're missing out on a lot of conventions and also our beloved Comic-Con. I think Comic-Con is really what's generating this talk again to expand our convention center. The issue is we really only have around 525,000 square feet of continuous exhibit space, which really does sound like a lot, but it's really not. Other major cities that have around a million square feet on average, 1.3 million on average square feet of continuous exhibit space. We have 525,000 and that's broken down into 122,000 square feet of exhibit space, around 81,000 square feet of ballroom space and meetings. And then also the sale pavilions that we can't see because we're on the backside, but I bet you in other footage we have it of, um, of uh, 90,000 square feet of around the uh, sale pavilion space. So it's kind of indoor outdoor meeting space. So the plan was to pass the convention center expansion, charge it as a hotel tax. We're right now around 1.25% of a TOT hotel tax, which is well below the average in the United States and it would be a 2% increase to around 3.25%. And it would all have to do with the proximity of the hotel to the convention center. What's great about the convention center is, I mean, literally it is a five minute drive from the airport, which is right there, to the convention center downtown, which is right here. Maybe a $10 Uber ride, maybe an $8 Uber ride, who knows? We're also flanked by thousands of hotel rooms. We have 500 right there at the Hilton. We have around a thousand additional hotel rooms between the Hyatt Manchester and the Marriott Marquis right on the water right here. And then obviously we have all of downtown poking out on the other side of the convention with thousands of other hotel rooms well within walking distance. What's also amazing too is we have a lot of retail shops and restaurants within a hop, skip and jump of this convention center. So it really does make sense when looking at how convention centers are ranked just by people enjoying coming to the city, enjoying what to do. San Diego actually ranks number one, but when it comes to space and other stuff, I don't even know if we're on the list. I think we're towards the bottom because we're just out of space. So the last 15 years, they've been developing a really cool plan. But in 2010, the city decided to sell the land to a hotel developer that was going to build a 44 story, 850 around hotel room hotel behind the convention center where the expansion would go, which would be right around here. I'm all for hotels. I am all for development. As we know, I am all for high rises because they're cool. And this was a funky design. But if it's going to come at the expense of expanding our beloved convention center, it absolutely makes no sense. And the people agreed and the, the city agreed and the port of San Diego all agreed. The hotel was denied, denied permits in December. So here we are in this empty space again, which is beautiful. You got the Coronado Bridge, you got the San Diego Bay, you got yacht after yacht after yacht after yacht, which is just a dream, a dream, a dream, a dream, a dream. Maybe one day David Bodie will come true. If you remember my previous videos, but here we are. So this hotel is no longer. So what are we going to do with this space? Let's expand this freaking convention center. The idea is to expand the convention center and I just want to get it right. So I'm sorry if I'm reading, I, I really would love to just go off the top of my head, but it would be 220,000 square feet of exhibit space, 101,500 square feet of meeting space, 80,000 square feet of ballroom space and 42,500 square feet of retail, which we don't even have in the convention or in the convention center right now. And the retail would be flanking along the back here. So it'd be like probably where we're standing-ish. So people are gonna be walking and you got the water and you're gonna have retail. So that's a ton of additional square footage that's all gonna be in San Diego. Now, if this is accomplished, what will be really cool is we will be the largest continuous convention center on all of the Pacific and the largest continuous convention center uh, continuous convention center west of the Mississippi. Two really cool facts in gorgeous San Diego where we just have everything else is located in the perfect spot. You know, the airport, the hotels, the restaurants, all that good stuff, 
also part of the plan is a really cool five acre public park. So it's just not for conventioneers, it's for everyone to be used daily. Kind of like how we're standing, I don't know if you call this grass or a park or whatnot. We, we don't have much grass in downtown San Diego, so is this a park or am I just walking on grass and trespassing? Eh, risk versus reward. I'll call it a park. But it'll be cool because we'll have city views and it'll slope down going that way until it hits the ground. So you can actually just walk up into the park, which is kind of really cool. And it's probably good for the butt. We'll call it a butt lifter a little bit if you do that instead of the stairs and just kind of like, you know, treadmill your way up and down. Uh, just another exercise for uh, the fanatics to uh, look forward to, you know, hopefully in our lifetime. Most of you recall before the pandemic hit, we voted on measure C. And what's insane is measure C needed two thirds of the vote. And the measure incorporated a couple things San Diego needs. Financing for the expansion that again has been going on for the last 15 years, the discussion has, and homelessness. So between those two aspects, with the hotel tax going up by 2%, we're gonna try to take care of the homeless pandemic we have going on and expand our convention center, which we desperately need. Two thirds, that is 67%. You tell me, people voting on anything, 67%, two thirds would agree upon anything. And when you ask people, will you raise taxes to, and do this? I bet you 100% of the time the answer is no. But guess what? Measure C got around 64, 65% of yes. Because we get it. We're increasing the hotel tax. That's not going to affect us. That's going to affect the outsiders coming in for the conventions or visiting our beautiful city. And we get to reap the benefit of one of the largest convention centers on the West Coast, if not the largest continuous convention center. Others are larger, but they're not continuous. That is a very important word, continuous. We do not want to walk anywhere else outside or be shuttled outside. We are, we are a race, we are a human population that likes things as easy as possible. Wouldn't you rather just want to walk from run, one room to another or wait in line, shuttle to another convention and who, long, who knows how long that takes and anyone that's been at conventions in my previous life I used to convention you get what 30 to 60 minutes for lunch so you're gonna run out and then run back in we don't got time for that as a what sweet D says that or D Brown or whatever her name was so we need this again we are losing conventions like crazy because they're getting too big we only have 525,000 square feet of space total um, maybe a little over 800,000, but that includes like hallways and stuff like that, where again, the national average for major cities is around 1.3, 1.4 million square feet. And we're around 800 combined and only 525 of usable, 525,000, 525,000 of usable space. What's also cool about this is, if you see the Hilton that we already pointed out earlier, they're gonna build a twin Hilton right next to it, but also keeping the Park Boulevard view corridor, because again, who doesn't want to see this view all the time? So it'll be skinny, narrow, and tall, such as that. And then also the parking garage attached to the Hilton. They will add 55,000 square feet of meeting space and ballroom space. So the numbers that I read off, and I apologize again for reading, but it is what it is, add that and then add the 55,000 square feet over there. And you tell me that it's not large enough for Comic-Con or any other major convention that'll be coming in here. Because again, you fly in, you're at your hotel within 10 to 15 minutes. You tell me another city, Boston, but besides them that has their airport so close to their convention center and living in Massachusetts for five years, I know that they have two convention centers. They have one somewhere, I don't know Boston that well, and then they have the new one not attached to the other one that is somewhere. So it would just be really cool. A lot of people complain that this convention center walls off the bay from the city. Valid point, you are right. So let's just make it better. Lead green certified, or silver green certified and have a park where we have city views, bay views, and just the enjoyment of the outdoorness that San Diego provides 365 days a year. Of course, it's supposed to rain tonight, but that's quite all right. We need the rain and it rained last week. Don't mind that. <laughs> but we need that as well. So just to make a brief recap, we have 525,000 square feet of usable exhibit space, which also includes the ballroom space and the sale pavilions. We have hundreds of thousands of square feet of proposed additional expansion. And this will be the third, third expansion 
uh, of this uh, illustrious convention center's career. For some reason, this one's taking the longest to get off the ground, <laughs> but hopefully in due time. We'll have another Hilton built over there that protects the view corridors down Park Boulevard. And we'll have more meeting spaces and exhibit spaces above the garage right next to the Hilton over there. To me, this is a no brainer. This convention center racks in around 1.4, 1.5 billion with a B dollars a year. And with this expansion, they're averaging that it'll uh, generate around 700 to 800 million on top of the 1.4, 1.5 billion. So, I told you I'm not a mathematician earlier, but no brainer, that's over $2 billion of an economic, re like generating revenue for our city. <laughs> Words are not my thing today. It makes sense. What's also nice too, is you see all the cars and the trucks. Once they do that, they're gonna reroute all the trucks, cars, planes, trains from back here to somewhere else. And this will all be for pedestrians and the people of San Diego. I say it all the time. San Diego sometimes feels more for guests than residents. 65% of the population said yes on this. So why not? You know, it's again, it's a hotel tax that uh, increases 2% for visitors. You know, if you have a fight with your loved one, you stay in a hotel, you know, what? it's not going to be every day. So, you know, you throw in, help build the economy and stuff like that. And depending upon where you stay, the closer you are to the convention center, the higher the tax will be on the rooms that you're staying at, which makes sense because staying in Mission Valley, it shouldn't be as high as if you're staying at the Manchester or Marriott over there, the Hilton over there. But if you're staying here, you're walking to the convention and it's cents on the dollar that it's going up. We're not talking about a crazy amount by any means. It's cents on the dollar and it's money that we really need. And it will <coughs> generate money for, I think they said around, it would be a four decade, 40 year tax. Hey. That's quite all right. I am almost 40 and it goes by really quickly. I'll be 40 in a couple months. 40 more years. I'm hope I'm alive to see this happen. I don't know if Coach Deb will be. Just kidding. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, but I hope I am. So again, just to, just to recap for the third time, small. We need bigger. If we get bigger, we will be the biggest. Continuous convention. We will have a five acre park to enjoy on top. We will have another Hilton with a 500 room hotel behind. The 850 hotel room hotel is scraped as of December. They have no plans to build anything here. This makes sense. If you disagree, comment below and tell me why. But it just makes sense. Let's do this. It is a win for San Diego City, it is a win for San Diego County, and it is a win for the residents all around here. I'm David Spiewak, Coldwell Banker Realty, your go-to guy for all things San Diego, including mega convention center expansion projects, and of course, real estate.